Hello everybody, I'm making yet another video on the issues I've been having with mouse stuttering with gaming mice or high DPI mice and Windows 8.1. I've got all my stuff opened and set off to the right because I'm too lazy to put black bars around my email addresses and usernames and other personal stuff that I do not want to be, uh, that I, you know, would want to protect. And I'm a little paranoid and I'm always very careful when I put bars over it um, that I am... Um, cover it for the entire duration just out of fear that someone who would dissect this frame by frame might be able to compromise my privacy. So it doesn't make a big difference because I'm probably just, I'm going to zoom over anyway to show you the settings close up, but that is why everything is kind of awkwardly off to the right. So I think I may have a fix for this issue, the stuttering issue, once and for all. I mean, I think Microsoft should still fix their shit, but for now this works because all you have to do is change your settings for, for things just once, and from there, you should be good to go. You won't have to do anything else, just change your settings once. And basically, I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started with this. So first, you're going to want to open up whatever software is associated with your mouse. Uh, for me, I have a Razer Naga, as you can see, so for me it's Razer Synapse. Uh, if, like with the Razer mice, if there was not, if there wasn't like a CD or anything that came with your mouse, with the stuff to install, then if you don't have anything installed, go to the website of the manufacturer of your mouse and see if they have anything there. Like with Razer mice, uh, with this one, nothing came with this, and it just told me to go to their website to download Synapse. Or maybe it didn't and I just saw it on YouTube videos, but just make sure you have, um, the program installed and open up the program. Then what you're going to want to do is find in the program where you can change the polling rate of your mouse. From Razer Synapse, it's under Mouse and then Performance. So you're going to want to go to your polling rate. Now previously, I had had mine set at 1000 megahertz. This should be a frequency in megahertz. I'd set mine at megahertz, um, or at 1000 megahertz, and that worked fine on my Windows 7 computer. Uh, thinking, and I, by default, I think it was at 500, so I upped it to 1,000 for all my profiles, thinking, well, higher number means better, right? I mean, I really didn't notice a big difference if there was one. There probably was, but it wasn't enough for me to notice. Um, probably because even the regular 125 does just fine. Uh, so this is what I had mine at previously, and this is what my game, Borderlands 2, looks like with these settings. Alright, oh, as you can see, I'm recording, I know you can't see the FPS number, but I will tell you what it says. So, right now, standing still, I've got uh, about 30 FPS, it's, I know people say you should get 60, like, at least, but this is smooth enough for me, and it may have something to do with the fact that I'm recording. Uh, now, when I move the mouse like this, uh, continuously, I have... Oh, wow, six. Wow, it even dropped down to one for a moment there. But, well, I'm just doing normal turning, like, um... I know I don't always violently shake the mouse. I'm getting about 11, but as you can see with 1000 megahertz pulling rate, this thing gets pretty laggy. Same old, same old, it's awful and unplayable, you know. Now. What happens if I change some of my settings here? What happens if I change my polling rate? What you're going to want to do is, because Windows 8.1 also has a problem with translating a polling rate of anything other than 125 megahertz, it seems, um, if I understand it correctly, that's probably half correct or somewhat correct, maybe incomplete. Anyways, you want to find where you can customize your polling rate, because what you're going to want to do is change it to 125 megahertz. Now let's see what the game looks like now. Alright, I have rebooted Borderlands 2 in between lowering my polling rate because last time I tried this, I did not close my game in between changing my settings, so I'm thinking that may have had something to do with it. Um, not with Razer Synapse, but with my game. Uh, well, it seems to be working. It's, uh, I've had this open for about a minute, and it doesn't seem to be messing up yet, so I think, I think I fixed it. Hooray! And by the way, I have also tried this with Portal 2, and I reported, uh, I found similar results. It seems to be working when I lowered my, um, polling rate. So, hooray! It's working! I can play my games, finally, normally, with this mouse! Yay! Here, look it. I 
did all this using my mouse. I'm meleeing using my mouse and not my keyboard using my side buttons. So, it works. Yeah, let's see how good I am at. I don't have the best aim anyway, but let's just see what it's. Let's see how good I can do. How well I can do. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, it lagged there, but that's because it loaded the save. It did the save thing. Oh my. Well, it's working. Well, as you can see, it's so much better. It's running smoothly, and this seems to actually work to fix the problem. Now, I found this issue kind or this wasn't directly suggested as a solution. It was kind of subtly buried in page like five or six of something on Microsoft's website, but there really hasn't been anything um, like this suggested in just a regular article on a, on a technology website or on YouTube in a YouTube video. So I thought I would make one directly suggesting to do this. Change your polling rate to 125 um, uh, megahertz along with some other fixes if that doesn't work. I don't know, this is coupled with other things that have been suggested to me because I haven't reversed those fixes yet. But hopefully this works for you. Uh, you know, it's big, it's kind of annoying, uh, but I haven't really noticed a big difference with the polling rate of 125 megahertz. My games are now playable again. I'm happy about that. I can use my mouse with all the side buttons. Even though it's a bit overkill, it's still nice, and I do get functionality out of the extra buttons. So, I hope you found this helpful. Um, let me know if this worked. Uh, hopefully, if you have a gaming mouse, it probably does have some program that goes with it. Um, if you don't have anything like that with your mouse and you are having this issue, you may be out of luck. Again, with the regular mouse I was using before I found this fix, I didn't have the issue, probably because it was just a regular mouse for just regular use, I guess. It was not gaming grade, so it probably did not have a pulling rate of anything other than like 125 megahertz. As I said, though, I hope this works for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if this helped you. If it did not help, um, also let me know so I can learn whether this was a, whether this was a good fix. And that is all.